Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing the most coolest laptop ever. I have seen a lot of laptops, but this one is the first of its kind. It's a ZenBook Pro Duo from ASUS with a dual screen. Yep, you heard it right. It's a dual screen on a laptop. So here's the box. On the front, it says in search of the incredible, just like most of its laptops. It has the ASUS branding on the top. Once again, the same branding on the side and the specs on the other side. On the back, we have some more specs along with the pricing information. Now, this laptop starts from 2,9990 rupees. That's literally 2,10,000 rupees. That's definitely a big number, but wait until you see the laptop. Now, let's open the box. Inside, we have two boxes. One is for the laptop and other one, I'm guessing it's for the charger. It even has a charging symbol. Now, here's the laptop box. Now let's open up this box first and as I expected, it's the charger. By the way, this box has magnetic clips, so it's pretty satisfying to open and close the box. Anyway, now let's come back to the main highlight. On the top, it says ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo. On the front, once again, we have the ASUS branding. Now there's a sticker on the laptop with few of its highlighting features. I'll talk more about them later. So for now, let's continue. Next, we have a small box below that. We have the stylus or the pen for the secondary screen, which by the way is also a touch screen. And the smaller box has some documentation. Under all this, we have what looks like a palm rest. Because of the secondary screen, ASUS had to remove that palm rest on the laptop and squeeze the keyboard and the touchpad to the bottom corner. That's why we got a dedicated palm rest. Now let me just put everything aside and come back to the laptop itself. By the way guys, we have the celestial blue color and it does look pretty cool. Now, once we open the laptop, we have a sheet between the keyboard and the screen and it says Screenpad Plus and your creativity starts here. And finally, here's the thing everyone was looking forward to, the secondary display. Now, let's have a physical overview and check out the most highlighting features. Now, the top lid of this laptop has a spun metal finish, just like most of its ZenBook. It's more of an iconic touch and it does look cool. By the way, guys, this laptop is also military grade certified. It has military grade toughness and great build quality. Now, once we open the lid, we are greeted with a beautiful 15.6 inch OLED display with HDR support, 4K resolution, 89% screen to body ratio, and this display is capable of producing 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. And as you can see, bezels all around the display are also quite small. ASUS calls them the ultra slim bezels, and they are just 5mm in thickness, giving the display 89% screen to body ratio. By the way, guys, I've just noticed even this display is a touch screen. Above the display, we have the IR web camera. Below that, we have the secondary 14-inch 4K display, which ASUS calls ScreenPad Plus. Now, this secondary display has a matte finish, while the main display has a bit of a glossy finish. At the bottom, we get a full-size backlit keyboard. Trackpad doubles as a numpad, so you do get a full-size keyboard. Even when the number pad is activated, touchpad can be used for navigation and cursor control. It has precision touchpad technology that supports up to four finger smart gestures. Just like other ZenBooks, keys on the keyboard have 1.4mm key travel. As the secondary display and this keyboard take up the entire space, we can use this palm rest as an attachment at the bottom and we are good to type comfortably. Now on the right side, we have the USB 3.1 port, followed by an exhaust vent, 3.5mm audio jack, Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C port. It also has two LED lights for status indication and a speaker on the bottom side. On the left side, we have a charging port, a HDMI port, once again a USB 3.1 port, an exhaust vent at the top, and a speaker at the bottom. On the back, it has a inlet cutout towards the bottom side, and on the front, it is completely plain, with a small light strip at the center. Now on the bottom, we have this air inlet towards the hinges, two long rubber feet towards the top and bottom, for a bit of elevation and grip, and in between these two, we have the foldable stand, which can further elevate the laptop more than the hinge mechanism. We have exhaust vents on either side, and towards the bottom corners, we have the speakers. On the inside between the two displays, there's a lineup of cutouts. It's also for air inlet. Now for the internal specifications, this laptop sports an Intel Core i9-9980HK processor with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU with 32GB of DDR4 RAM, 6GB of DDR6 graphic memory, 1TB of PCI3 Intel Optane memory. It will be running Windows 10 Home Edition right out of the box. Now, as for battery, it has a 71 watt hour battery and can give you up to 7.5 hours of battery life. Now, these are the specs of the power adapter. 
With this laptop, we still get the ISU Sonic Master Stereo audio system with surround sound, smart amplifier for maximum audio experience. It also has an array microphone with Cortana and Alexa voice recognition support, and it is certified by Herman Kardon. It also has Intel's Wi-Fi 6 with Gigabit Plus performance and Bluetooth 5.0. Now with all this, this laptop has a thickness of 24.6 mm and weighs 2.5 kilograms. Now this laptop is heavy, but not super heavy, at least when you look at all the things it has to offer. In terms of design and build, this laptop is definitely dock solid. In fact, it's also military grade certified. It meets military standard 810G for reliability and durability. So when it comes to build and durability, I really have no doubts about it. And about the design, as I've already told you, it looks super cool. The only con though is the weight. I wish it was a bit more lighter. I know it's not possible considering all the things this laptop packs in, but still, we can always wish for it. Even this ZenBook has the famous hinge mechanism seen on other ZenBooks, but this one has a slightly different hinge design. Here's a quick look at that. It elevates more than the regular one. This hinge mechanism helps with better air circulation and when you use it on a table, it raises the keyboard for comfortable typing. Now to make typing more comfortable, you can also use this palm rest. Now to elevate this laptop even further, we got this foldable stand. We can just fold it and create a much bigger height. I'm not sure how convenient it'll be when you're using this laptop while traveling. Keyboard feels pretty good to type on, gives soft yet clicky feel and this keyboard is also backlit. Honestly, nothing to brag about at this price, but still a pretty good thing. You can also access the number pad on the trackpad, which completes the keyboard. And that, in a way, qualifies as a full-size keyboard on a laptop. Unlike most laptops, trackpad on this one is located on the right side corner. And because of the glass, it is a very smooth surface. It's pretty responsive, and Microsoft gestures work without any issues. We can just tap and hold this numpad icon for one or two seconds to use the touchpad as a number pad. As the trackpad is on the right side, it might be a bit inconvenient for the left-handers, and for them, you just have to use an external mouse. Now the display on this laptop is just awesome. It's easily the best thing about this laptop. It's an OLED panel that's a huge deal for a laptop. It has super small bezels all around and 4K resolution. It's pretty sharp, viewing angles are good, and color reproduction is also pretty great. There really isn't anything bad to talk about this display. It's just awesome and it's great for media consumption. Now even this secondary display at the bottom also has 4K resolution. So everything on it looks pretty crisp. It also comes with a matte finish to prevent glare from the ceiling lights. Seems like ASUS has put a lot of thought into building it. Now this secondary display can be really useful for programmers, editors, music creators, or even stock traders. At the end of the day, it is just another display, but if you're someone who wants two displays on the go, then this can be a pretty good package. Now there's an arrow on the left corner of the secondary display, and if you tap it, you can see an array of options and apps. You can also add applications here that you might use regularly on the secondary screen, so it'll be easy to access anytime. In the options, we also have Organizer, and ASUS calls it Capture, which helps you save currently opened applications on both the screens, or even on this single screen. And later, with just a tap, you can open all of them exactly in the same place. It kinda feels like the multi-window feature from Samsung phones. Anyway, it's pretty cool, and can save you a lot of time. Now there are three ways to move applications or windows from one screen to another. In the traditional way, we can move window from one screen to another by using the mouse. Now another way to do it is just hold an application, slightly drag it and you get some extra options at the top. Now you need to drag that application through it and leave it. And it will open up in the secondary screen. Now the third way is just to click this button. It simply swaps all the application from the primary screen to the secondary screen and sends all the applications or windows that are opened on the secondary screen to the primary screen. Personally, I like the second option. Now both the displays are touchscreen, but the bottom one is more responsive with the pen compared to the main display. Now the pen is also pretty great to use. We can either sketch, sign documents, or just navigate with it. For lazy people like me, we also have face and lock feature, and it is pretty fast. Even in low lighting conditions, it works, and it is pretty fast. Now the speakers are pretty good on this laptop. They're not super loud, but definitely usable in a small silent room. Now when it comes to performance, everything is super snappy. I didn't notice any kind of lag whatsoever. Everything was just super snappy. 
There's also a dedicated turbo boost mode right under the trackpad and you can press it to get an instant boost. It gets a bit noisy but it's gonna be ready for some heavy lifting. Now this laptop is not meant for gaming. With that said, it can run all the high-end latest games. Now finally, let's talk about the battery life. Asus claimed 7.5 hours of screen on time. For me, it was about 5-6 to six hours on just regular usage like checking mails, sending messages and watching a lot of YouTube videos. Now this laptop has dual 4K monitors. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the battery and performance as well. So I'm not expecting too much in terms of battery life. For normal usage, it should be pretty fine and you should get great battery life. So guys, this is the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo. What do you think about it? Let me know by commenting below this video and if you're planning to buy this one, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one.